Beautiful. Thanks, Mike. Perfect. Sounds good. All right, hey everyone, welcome to the stream. Uh, welcome to today's sponsored stream by Lioness Games. And we do have a Leone joining us today who is the designer of Biome. Uh, so Biome is live on Kickstarter right now and it does end next Thursday, the 21st at 8 a.m. Pacific time. And what we're gonna do today is, uh, you know, Leone's been uh, nice enough to give us a teach and then we're going to jump into the game and kind of just show you how it plays. So, um, Leone, welcome. Thanks for joining. And I'll, I'll throw it off to you so you can introduce the game and then just give us a, a quick teach here. Amazing. Thanks so much, Mike. I'm super excited to be here and teach you all how to play Biome. So, this has been my... Yeah, I still can't believe that I got to design a board game and it is live now on Kickstarter. So I started designing it in October of 2022 and just dived into it full time and have been play testing, iterating on it ever since. So here we have Biome on Screen Top GG. So I'm gonna, I can dive right into teaching Mike how to play. Yeah. So yeah, and please stop me at any time if you have any no problem okay so in biome we are working to we're competing for points and trying to build the most bi biodiverse biome so the game takes place over through the seasons so every round is a season and every season has multiple phases so each round begins with some simultaneous phases and then ends with a turn-based phase. So, I'm just yeah, I'm just going to stop you one sec. Some people are saying they're having issues hearing you. So, I might boost your audio real quick. Thank you for Yeah, yeah. No, we want to make sure that everyone can hear you for sure. Uh one sec here. Where It's that, or I'll boost my audio. Uh, it could be my desktop audio. Yeah, okay. Now. <laughs> Can folks hear me better now? Yeah, let's give it a shot. Uh, just mm -hmm. chat. Can you tell me if that's a little better? Let's have you say, I don't know, a couple words here. And uh, give yes, it a... let's get into teaching. How's this volume? Is it better? I will wait for feedback. I appreciate you all letting me know you can't hear me. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna wait here, I haven't heard back. Otherwise, there's a way. These are settings. Still low, so it's still a little low. Someone says it's a bit better. Let me see if I can just try to boost it another way. One moment. Of course, right? We even we even tested everything. <laughs> we even tested everything. And of course, of course, the one thing that was not checked was your volume. So yeah. no worries. Oh, uh, here it is. User volume. The user volume is maxed. So um I could run and grab a headset if 
we think that might be better. What do you think? You know, I it might be better. Um, I can hear you pretty well. Um, okay. And like I said, someone said... It, I don't know. Maybe we can try with the headset just in case. Um, okay. We want to make sure the audio is clear for everyone, definitely. Um, so I'll give yeah, you a minute to do I'll that. Do right that. Yeah. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Thank thank you for the, the heads up, though. We'll make sure that it is uh, cleared up. We'll get that audio cleaned up real quick, and then we will get back into the teach. Into the teach. So I hope everyone is having a good day so far. Yeah. All righty. Join the headset crew. <laughs> yeah. Okay, how's this? Better? <laughs> yeah, I can, I'm sure that'll be better. I can... Yeah. yeah. You can already tell. Yeah, yeah, for Perfect. sure. Okay, should I just get into it? I think I think we're good to yeah to continue on at this point. All right. Perfect. Should I start kind of from the beginning or? Uh, yeah, let's let, yeah, let's just yeah let's go. Um, you're talking about the seasons and then. We can, yes. Yeah. Exactly. So, so the game takes place uh, through the seasons, and each season is around. And each round has different phases of the game. So we start with simultaneous gameplay phases. And then at the end of each season, we have a turn-based phase. So, um, Mike, can you kind of zoom in on the this? Um, yeah, so I'm zoomed in. I can see you kind of, uh, yeah. Hovering there. Perfect. So at the beginning, so we'll begin in fall and in the, with the physical board game, we'll have this little moon phase tracker, season tracker token, and then we have this phase tracker token. So at the beginning of each season, players double check their hand limit by reducing to eight cards. Then all players simultaneously draw two cards from the deck and then collect two resources of their choice. And then all players will play one card from their hand. So let me give you an example of what that looks like. Yeah. So I, for example, have this lemur leaf frog in my hand. And in order to play it, so if you want to hover over that card. Mm -hmm. So on the top left, you'll see that um, I it is the, the card type is other animal. So that's the butterfly symbol and it is played into the jungle. So you can tell because it has a green border on the card and the butterfly symbol is on a green diamond background. So jungle is diamond, prairie has a hexagon symbol and marsh has the circle symbol. And then in order to play this lemur leaf frog into my jungle, I will need two insects. So all animals require food and all plants require sunlight. So let then I know, okay, during the resource collection phase, if I want to play this lemur leaf frog, I'll probably might collect an insect or two. So that happens simultaneously. Mm -hmm. And then we will each play a card. So if I want to play this frog, then I pay the two insects back into the supply. And you're doing this at the same time as me, Mike. So you're also playing a card. Okay. And then what's interesting, a, a kind of a unique twist is obviously this point track. And as you are, as players are playing cards, taking actions, they immediately move up points on the point track. So the Sleamer Leap Frog is worth four points. So I'm the purple player. I move up here four points on the point track. So as you can see, there is a little, there are some bonus symbols mm -hmm. on the point track. So as you land or pass one of these bonus symbols, you get an instant bonus. Okay. So I just landed on the four space, so I would get a free sunlight. 
and then yeah you would also move forward however many number of points the card is worth that you played and so after those simultaneous phases right we've drawn cards collected resources played a card then we get to the seasonal event so in the standard mode there is no seasonal event in fall and winter okay. the advanced side of the board is the back side we've got two sides of this player board we have some seasonal events in fall which is migration and in winter brumation but i'm just going to teach you the standard side of the game for now sure and so we will skip this phase in fall and then we get to the action phase so let me kind of give you a quick um, example of what the action phase will look like and then i'll get to the spring and summer seasonal events in just a minute so Sounds good. starting so as i mentioned the action phase is turn-based so one at a time players will look at their available the cards that they've played and choose one action to activate so let's say i want to play the two pillow tree so the two pillow tree has the action give a victory point to another player to play a marsh card up to four points for free so if i want to take this action i would say okay uh i'm gonna give let's say mike is at six points i will give mike a point so i go down on the point track mike goes up on the point track and i get to play a marsh card up to four points for free so i have this bald eagle in my hand which is less than four points and i can play in either the marsh or the prairie habitats so so for the the two below tree action i gave mike a point and i get to play this bald eagle card for free so i don't have to pay the resource cost that card is worth two victory points so i move up two and i pass this bonus again okay so that cool. means i get that sunlight again so there's like a little bit of strategy as well on which actions do you activate um or like which when to place specific cards because you might be able to take advantage of these bonuses twice. Mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. and then after after i've taken that action i will place one of my player cubes on the tupelo tree card to show that I've activated that action. I can never take that action again. Okay. So each action can only be activated once in the whole game. And um, so that means the main strategy of the game is which cards do you play and in which order do you activate the actions? Because mm. a lot will get stronger later on in the game. Well, yeah, like this and frog here, it's, you know per insect in your yes. supply so i can see that would right once i build up a supply of insects then i could get a max of 10 points yeah for that. sure yeah exactly so, so i'm assuming I there's can... no sorry there's no uh, replacing cards once it's in your like tableau it, it just stays there forever in the standard mode yes okay so in the advanced mode with migration players actually mm. migrate an animal from their biome to another player's biome. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. And then if you play with the natural disasters module, <laughs> it's possible that, you know, a tsunami might wipe out okay. some of the plants or animals in your marsh, unless you have a mangrove tree. Um, <laughs> so uh, there's some more opportunities for more space to be created uh, if you choose to play with either the advanced side or this module. Cool. So then, yeah. So after I take an action, you take an action, we go to the next season. So the little season tracker goes down to winter. This resets back up and we continue. So sorry, uh, I have someone from the chat asking how the migration phase works in solo. Oh, yes. Um, so the migration phase in solo, you get to migrate an animal out and discard it essentially. And I'm, and then you get to reveal one card from the deck. 
Okay. If it's an animal worth four points or fewer, you get to migrate it into your biome. Um, so I've still kind of created some variability. And if I'm being honest, for the solo mode, um, often you end up filling your biome pretty quickly. So sometimes it's nice to have a little extra space and mm -hmm. migrate that animal out. No, for sure. And even if there's like an action cube on it, you're still able to, to migrate it? Yep. Yeah, okay, and then, cool. Exactly. So then if, let's say I have an action cube on a card, I migrate it to an opponent's habitat, that action cube goes away, so they, your opponent could reactivate it. Okay, nice. And um, same person just asking if the solo rules have been posted on the Kickstarter page. Not yet. Not I'm, yet. I've Not been yet. slacking. I'm so sorry. No, I'll, that's I'll, fair. I'll work on getting that up there by tomorrow. There we sorry go. Sorry about that, y'all. Nice. <laughs> um, okay. So that. So let me get to the seasonal events yep. for spring and summer. Um, so in spring, birds and rabbits that are neighboring plants will make a nest and have babies. So birds can make a nest in any nest bearing plant. So trees, as you can see here on the tree mm -hmm. card, has two birds nest symbols. Yep. That means two neighboring birds will make a mm. nest there and have babies. So cool. in spring, so let's say I've, I've played those two birds, I'll get two nests here. And the number of chicks that the bird will have is printed on the card in the little feather icon mm -hmm. on the right side of the card. So my bald eagle is going to have two chicks and the buffle head will have four chicks. And so that happens simultaneously. All players are getting nests and babies. Rabbits can be placed because rabbits are rabbits. Rabbits can be placed next to any plant and they will have offspring. So whereas the birds may need to be next to a plant with the nest symbol on it, mm -hmm. rabbits can be placed next to any plant and will have babies. Cool. So that is spring. In summer, that's when things get a little more interesting with the babies. So in summer, first the predator phase is activated. So Mike, I can see that I, you got lucky and um, <laughs> have a predator. So let's say you had this predator out. This red-shouldered hawk, actually, because it can live in the marsh or prairie, it gets to hunt in the marsh or prairie. So what's going to happen is during the predator phase, when you're activating this hawk, you're going to roll the dice and you need to roll a number higher than the number of plants in the habitat with the nest to hunt two babies. So right now, early on in the game, you're more likely to successfully hunt because players have played fewer plants. Yep. So right now, right, I only have the one tree. You need to roll a two or higher to eat two babies from from my marsh, okay. right? If, if there were no marsh or prairie babies um, available for the hawk to hunt, you would, it's considered an unsuccess, unsuccessful hunt and you draw three cards. Anyways, and so then once all the predators have been activated, um, then we come to the fledgling phase. So baby animals are always worth two points each, whether you hunt them or then you get to raise them at the end of summer. So you would have um, four babies as well, right? Your lorikeet is also gonna have four babies uh, in the spring. So then in the fledgling phase, we're each gonna be um, eating our babies to try to earn more points. So your lorikeet babies will want to eat either insects or fruit, which is what the mother or the parent, the parent animal eats, right? Um, does that, does that make sense, Mike? Yeah. Well, yeah. The resources are usually going to be what you use to place that animal down. Makes sense. Yep. And that's what they eat in nature. Yep. Exactly. So each baby will want one food, and so if you're, you can choose how many babies you want to feed. 
and then earn points for those. So let's say you have the four insects or fruit and you want to feed all four, you get eight points. So I'll say on average, I see that each spring players have between four and maybe eight or 10 babies. Okay. So you can earn between eight and 20 points. If you can feed from them all. Feeding. If you can feed them all, right. And maybe you rather keep the food to play cards that might be more valuable and earn you more points or have really strong actions. So there's some trade-offs here. Mm -hmm. And re so in the standard mode, I'd say resource collection isn't too difficult, but in the advanced mode and expert mode, it does get more difficult to get the resources you need. But I definitely want, you know, the, I don't want it to be too difficult to get the resources you need. I really want players to, to have fun building out their diverse biome. No, for sure. Um, yeah. So then at the end of the fledgling phase, all the nests and chicks go away. Nothing, you're not penalized if you're not able to feed babies, um, but you just miss out on the opportunity to earn points for that phase. And then we continue to the um, action phase, right? So the action, we always end with an action at the end of each season. Mm -hmm. season. Cool. So I think we'll final, like two things I want to explain and then we can dive right in. So at any time, you can exchange two of something for one of something else. So if you are hunting for a specific card, you're really looking for a specific card, you can always discard two cards to draw one. Or, you know, during the fledgling phase, you want to feed more babies, you can exchange two sunlight for a food or two cards for a food. Make sense? Yeah, for sure. Cool. And I just want to kind of go over the, oh yeah, the end game conditions. How, does, how do you win? And then the different ways you can earn points yeah. to recap. So the game ends in one... So the final season is triggered in one of two ways. Either a player reaches 120 points on the point track. We've got our little finish line here. Mm -hmm. Or a player fills up all 18 card bases in their bio. Okay. Either of those triggers the final season. So all players just continue through, you know, everyone takes their final action and then it's the end of the game. Whoever has the most points wins. Cool. Um, the And I'll just recap the five major ways to earn points in the game. Yep. Are the value of the cards played into your biome. Two, uh, babies hunted. Three, babies raised. Four, the actions on the cards. Some actions can get you a lot of points. And then five, the last thing, are the achievements. So you're going to see these on the edge of your, uh, the main center board. Mm -hmm. What you'll notice is that two of them are fixed. So two are the same for each game. So we've got the ecologist in the top left. Um, you earn more points for completing the objective first. So first player to have played five unique species of plants and five unique species of animals gets 10 points. Okay. The top right is filled up biome. So the first player to fill up all habitats, which as I mentioned is an end game condition, gets uh, 10 points. Then bottom left, which I drew these randomly from the achievement deck, mm -hmm. we have the mammalogist, first player to play four mammals with at least one in each habitat. And then the same goes for birds. I think we lost our chat. One sec here. I think Leone is just having some issues. Oh, let's see where she's back here. Just give her a minute to come back. They get more points on oh. the achievements. So 
it kind of balances out between the number of points and how fast people are in points. Does that make sense? Yeah, sorry. I don't know if it was Discord, but as soon as you started explaining the the birds achievement, it, it just it glitched out, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, no worries. Am I back? Yeah, you're back now. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um so I'll just quickly recap for the ornithologist. They're just competing for um yeah, first player to play four birds with at least one in each habitat gets 10 points. Mm -hmm. And I was just sharing a quick note on, I don't know if, if the, this glitched out while I was sharing, but um, I just want to give a quick note on how the game scales with two, three, four players. Okay. So because there's a lot of actions where players give resources to each other, um, I'd say you see slightly more resources being shared with higher player counts. Yeah, for sure. However, you're also competing more aggressively for the achievements. So then with two players, you're more likely to get more points from achievements. So at the end of the day, the point balance is still pretty similar, no matter the player count. Okay, cool. Yeah. Nice. Cool. So I say we should just dive right in. Yeah, definitely. Um, Mimi, who's the person that's been asking questions, uh, they said they're interested in the solo play and, and are waiting for the rules to, to back the project. So, which, Thank which you. is lovely by the way. So congrats. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, right. I will get the solo. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Noted. I, that's been on my to-do list. So I apologies, but I apologize for the delay. Um, cool. Okay. So I already, so How do every you, uh, game. Is there a way oh, to yeah. group them? I just got to, there is. So I know you can select multiple. So you can either select an entire pile of something by double clicking. Okay. Or you can select multiple if you shift click. Shift and click, then... okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, cool. cool. Do you start okay. with the card? Like, do you start with cards here? Yes. Like, yeah, okay. Yeah. So every one starts with a random bird and tree pair. In their biome so that's kind of nice because then right off the right off the bat you've already got some actions to choose from and everyone is guaranteed to have babies in the spring so okay that's the logic behind yeah. that we each start with one of each resource and three cards in hand and mike in case this is helpful for you uh i have your we've got two player aids uh two double-sided player aids so you can see these still need to be redesigned. As you can tell, these are looking like prototypes. Um, but this should kind of help you as you're... Yeah, no, that's going. great. I'm yeah. taking a quick look here. Cool. But no, I, I think I have a general understanding. Obviously, eh, all the combos and stuff, that's where it's, you know, you're going to try to be as efficient as you can. Um, yeah. But no, that's cool. Okay. Um, so yeah. we would draw cards at this point? That's right. So everyone gets to draw two cards from the deck. All right. One, two. Oh, I see you drew a card that you might not know what it is. Um, so this play any time card. Mm-hmm essentially allows you there's only i think eight in the deck four for marsh prairie four for jungle prairie so these kind of allow you mm. to terraform so let's say you have maxed out your prairie your prairie is full of cards and you really want to play another prairie card and you have space in your marsh you could play this play any time card to any available space and it transforms that marsh space into a prairie space. Cool. So you can then play a prairie card on it. Nice. Cool. Is there the same for like a like a jungle transformation as well? Yeah. Yep. So Perfect. there's four here and four for this. Piece. Cool. Cool. And now we collect two resources. Okay. Um, I have a tree. I need a bird. Yeah, if I could give you some guidance. Yeah. So the achievements, 
like, I don't know what to play. The achievements are always a great mm. thing to look at. And so it looks like mammals and birds will be helpful for this game. I... So I only have a predator. I have some of these. Three for supply. I will take an insect. And a leaf. And you said it's only birds that require the nests, right? Like if I put a kangaroo beside this tree, it will would that nothing happens. It's just yeah, the rabbits just that the rabbits and birds. And birds, okay. That'll have babies. Yeah. Gotcha. I didn't want to overwhelm people with no, this no. baby bonanza. <laughs> Uh, I can't do that. So maybe I'll, uh, <clears throat> maybe I'll just go for this kangaroo then. I'll get a cherry and an insect. And now we each play a card. Okay. Well, I'm going to play the kangaroo, I guess. Uh, I will yeah. play a Burrowing Owl. Cute. Yeah, we can just start a pile of resources on the side. I don't care too much. <laughs> so I would get nice. three points for that. Well done. I get two for my Burrowing Owl. And then we get to the action phase. So, would you like me to kick it off? Or yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, I will play, um, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna activate the Tupelo tree and just like I did during the example. So I give you a point. So I go down one, you go up one, so you get a sunlight. And I get to play this bald eagle for free and then move up two points and put a cube there. And now you get to take an action. Um, now, yeah, collect four, draw one, collect one. I don't, so like, I feel like I don't have a, oh, I guess I have a, no, oak tree? No, that's not a diamond. So the diamond is for the jungle. Yeah, so I don't have any jungle cards, so I'm not going to play that. Mm -hmm. I feel like the only decent action I have is the collect four. It's a good action because you're going to want that fruit to feed your babies. Of that, that's going to be going in there, right? When does that happen again? The nesting in the spring? Yeah. So the nesting will happen in spring, okay. and then you get to feed your babies in summer. Okay, so I guess we'll do that. So we'll get four. Uh... Yeah, so I think if you shift, if you shift click. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Four and, and a then card. And I get a fruit too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love that. Thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take all the fruit. Yeah, that yeah, I can get. for sure, for sure. <laughs> nice. So that was the end of the first season. Cool. And I and I realized I should have said this. The average game is eight to ten rounds. Okay. So just keep that in mind. Yeah. Um, that you'll have eight to ten actions to take. Yeah, like I was so, looking at at the duration, it showed like sixty to one twenty. So obviously, I assume if you're a full player count, it obviously takes a bit longer. Um, mm -hmm. Just because, yeah, like you said, as you start triggering actions and this and that, but no, I can see this. Like it's it's definitely has like a a good flow to it. Um, yeah, let's. Oh, I'm glad. So now we would be going into <clears throat> the so winter. Now we're in winter, mm -hmm. and neither of us have more than eight cards, so we're good. So now we just draw another two cards. And then collect two resources of our choice. <clears throat> uh, okay, two. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. 
so like my gray fox can either go in a prairie or a jungle right that's right okay so then if i were you so for the mammologist achievement i would see mm -hmm. like actually i think I, i'm just looking at your cards now and i think you're pretty good you've got mammals across the board so yeah yeah but maybe you know if you didn't have so many then you'd want to strategize where should i put that fox yes i think the f i think i want to go for the fox here so i'm gonna just get yeah. two fit or yeah i'll take two maybe one fish and one cherry okay i'm gonna get two leaves and cool and then we can we can each play a card Go with the fox. I'll play my score for three. And then I get five fish, points. Three. One, two, three. All right. Gray fox for seven points. Nice. Eleven. Okay. So I get a card and then I get to. Play one for l one less resource. Cool. Yeah. Right away. Right away. Oh, I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> Things uh, you learn. Yeah. Like, it, it would be foolish of me to not play a card. Like. Correct. Okay. I would definitely play a card, but you have the resources. You can get a mammal out for sure. Yeah, if you I a... trade, if I trade, right? So remember, you get to play it for one fewer. Oh, it's resource. one fewer. Okay. Yeah. So maybe the stoat for a rat, and that would be my third. Hmm. Okay. So I guess Pretty I'll good. play the stoat for one rat. Nice. Okay. I'll put him in the right spot here. <laughs> that's one of my og cards so the stoat has a soft spot in my heart nice yeah <laughs> cool yay okay, so yeah that, that would be a, obviously a good uh action to come back minus one and then go back forward right like that that seems like a one of the stronger right. ones on the on the track here so you just played the stoat though right so you get another three points mm, yeah so you're right is tricky to get that bonus yeah, yeah, twice um, i think yeah. i've seen it happen once in like thousand plus play tests okay yeah so yeah. i forget you do get your points right away so i can definitely yeah so it's a bit tricky mm -hmm. nice okay so now starting player is you for the action so you may choose an action to activate uh like i want to save this for later the gray fox mm -hmm. give one do i have a uh, no i still don't have a jungle i have no like i feel like giving you five cards is kind of strong or a mix of cards and rats mm -hmm. i mean that's a very generous gift yes yes but i also would like to save the gray fox for when there's there's more um, right. mammals, so it's kind of like, hmm. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing, though. You can only keep, like, I can give you five cards, and then you're only going to be able to keep three of, or, or like, you'll have to discard two, because it'll put you over eight, right? Correct. I will exchange those two cards, though. Ah, uh, for any resource of your choice. Yeah. At any time. Hmm, okay. Mm-hmm. I don't want so, to give you resources. <laughs> yeah, that's... So what you could do is you could exchange, like, two sunlight for a card, two fruit for a card, and then give me your worst five cards. Oh, I have to um, give... Oh. The alternative I... is... The alternative is you could exchange things to get two more insects, and then you can activate your musky rat kangaroo. Mm-hmm. 
have two insects. Two, uh, and when are we? I still have two rounds till I need to feed anything. So, okay, let's try that. Sure, I'll trade in two suns. Mm -hmm. Oh no! <laughs> I'll hand you an insect. Cool. Two suns and two fruit. Yeah, two fruit. Nice. Then I'll... Good thing you took that lorikeet action. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nice. Now you get to flip a coin, which is kind of a unique mechanic. Yeah. So I have this coin for you. So you can click on it and then hit F to flip it. And I'll let you decide which one you want to have, be heads or tails. Oh, so it's one or two? Yeah. Uh, I already pressed that button. Okay, that's fine. It was a test run hey. there. That was just a test run. Uh, I don't or, know. Or we, or we say it was heads. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. We'll do we'll do one heads, two tails here. Here we go. Okay. There we go. Tails. tails, of course, of course. Okay. Uh, let me put a cube it's, on here. I would have said one heads anyway, so if you want to say it was you. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Three cards and steal one from all players. So I'll take Ooh, I'll take okay. one of your cherries here. You do and take then, a fruit. Uh, three cards. One, two. So in the early days of my design, like the coin flips were even like more dramatic, but I realized like I, I didn't want it to be too yeah. luck based of a game. So it's still like, even though you're flipping a coin, like you're still going to get some benefit. Yes. Yeah, so you're not getting completely like, it's not devastating there. You're like, oh no, I almost yeah. had the win. And then here comes the, f the flip of the <laughs> coin. You're like, ah, right. yeah. And so the both the base game and deluxe game will have a custom metal coin. Oh, image, nice! Which I'm excited about. Cool. Cool. Okay, so that was your action. For my action, I will get two leaves from the supply and draw four cards. So I'm going to activate my gore here. You get to draw a card as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm. So, you can already start figuring out which cards you want to exchange. Yes. What is the, oh, it's just the grass. It's a grass icon. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Can so I do can... a play anytime right now? Of course. So anytime. I could, I could put it down and save it for later or, or... Totally. okay. Yeah, I'd say do you, it does just by looking at your cards it looks like your prairie will fill up faster than your marsh so you could definitely play a play anytime into your marsh just like that my marsh sorry oops uh, okay now i still need to discard one though right like let yeah transform like should I throw my other anytime just so I don't have to lose it or lose a different card oh I think I think we froze One sec here. Okay, I'm just going to play. Uh, I kind of want this. This guy's give three and get. Okay, I'm just going to discard this guy. Yeah, okay sorry it, it like it glitched out again there oh no worries yeah, it's fine. i was deciding what to discard anyways so we're all good okay so i just exchanged two and i'll take a fruit oh it's a fruit i was calling it a, like a oh, oh cherry i don't know why i'm like yeah it's red i'm like 
No Everything worries. red is a cherry. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Cool. Okay, so we are now in spring. We finished the action phase. We reduced to eight. And now we draw two more cards. Draw two cards. Build up your row. Filled up a row, wow. Six out of seven. Nope. So if you were to like play another mammal here, and other plant, I'd like a getting... marsh flower, you could activate that action to get um, eight points. Oh, you know what's funny? This is not, um, this card needs to be updated. It's a, it's not a flower. <laughs> it should be an other animal. Okay. I realize it has the flower symbol on it, but it, it should be an other animal. So sorry, if fill up, like it says fill up a row, mm -hmm. like it can be any of, like does it have to be completely filled then? That's right. Yeah, so, so I need to have like four other cards here to, to get that. And they have to be different card types. Yeah. Right? So you have a bird and a tree. So you could do like a flower, a mammal, um, a reptile, etc. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. So. Yeah. Two resources. Oh yeah. Okay. Um. Hmm. I want to play a mammal. So I'm gonna move you. I'm going to take two leaves. I will take a fish. Oh, got a chat here. And another fish. Hey, Cactus, welcome to the stream. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them. We're currently playing Biome. Uh, it is live on Kickstarter until next Thursday, the 21st, 8 a.m. Pacific time. We're playing with Leone, who is the designer. So, yeah. Thank you all for tuning in. Okay, so we've played one card now. Okay, I, I yeah, think I'm just going to go for the, uh, the African Savannah Elephants, I think. Nice. So I could put it here. Okay, let's go right here. Three. Three and one fruit. Draw ten. Pick two. Okay, so I'm going to take seven points. Nice. That puts me to 21. I'm going to take five points. It's 21. Two, three. I get to play one card for one card. Oh, watch out. Here we go. You break the game there. I've been saving this all game. <laughs> so just you wait. So I actually did get an achievement. Oh. Oh, actually, I get one as well because that is my fourth. Oh, you're right. My fourth mammal. That's why I played. Well, well done. So I will, yeah, play one of your player cubes. One cube. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. On Do the I 10? take that right away? We both get 10 points right now. Yep. Oh, and that gets me to 31, which gets me a card as well. Great. Uh, and yeah, you get to play a card for one fewer. I wasn't ready for that. So you said the <laughs> dragonfly is an other, right? It's an other animal, correct. And not it, a flower. Okay, so maybe I'll just play the dragonfly for free in the marsh for three points beautiful which gets me the sun right is it is that the sun yeah. okay that's right perfect okay and now we get to our first seasonal event which is the babies so you can grab yourself a nest um for your lorikeet and four chips cool Cactus Joe says he played Biome at one of the person demo sessions and says the game is awesome. He's placed his order on Kickstarter and can't wait to play it. That's so cool. Yeah. Where did you play? 
I'm, I would love to know where did, where did you play Biome? That's awesome. But thank you for, for supporting Biome on Kickstarter. It means a lot. All right, we'll see what he says okay. in a second. I forget yeah. I got to double click. There we go. Okay, I got my four chicks. Is that what it is? That's it. Cool. Perfect. Yay, and so now we go to actions. So I am the starting player again for actions. And that, honestly, that sounds pretty good. I'm going to activate my kill build token. So I get a fruit and draw a card per bird in my mm, file. Nice. Nice. Uh, I get. Cactus said he played at the board game cafe in Mountain View. Next level board game cafe. Oh, cool. I love that. Yay. Thanks so much for sharing. That's great. Yeah, I remember that night. That was fun. Cool. And then, so I get four fruit and draw four cards. And now you go take an action. Uh. Do I want my fish? No. So like if I don't have, I'm as, for the stoat, if I don't have a combination of five to give, I'm assuming I cannot use that action. So you could give five cards. But if I had like four in hand and no rats, like I just, I would not be able to use. That's right. Okay. Just had to yeah. confirm. Mm -hmm. And I feel like two cards of so many cards right now. Um, do I have? Oh, I do have a jungle. But I just like. Mm. <laughs> it's like I have a jungle card, but it's like a tree. Uh, you know, it's too late for that. If, if there was a tree up here, mm -hmm. would it have, like, would I have had eight chicks? Like, would yep. there be a nest? It's just you pick one tree to put a nest on per... Exactly. So Every would... bird can just have one nest. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe I'll do... Uh, give one point to you. So I'll go down one. I can give you one. Oh, thank you. And then I will play my tree for free. I do okay. hate to say this. Huh? That tree is worth five points oh sorry yeah you're right i was looking at the resources for some reason no worries you could play your anaconda yeah okay might as well mm -hmm. yeah two do you have you have birds okay you got some birds uh, you got some chicks so i i i have babies in the marsh as of right now oh so the anaconda would not hunt right. but you will automatically get three cards Hmm. Every summer. Sure. So, That's a up snake. If you want to play it risky, Mike, yeah. you could always exchange two cards for one card and see if you happen to get lucky and get a better jungle card. But mm -hmm. that's a risk. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, no, it's fine. We'll just play the anaconda for free. Nice. Uh, here. Awesome. And that'll give me four. One, two, three, four. Cool. Okay, that was the end of spring, and now we go to summer. So reduced to eight. That applies to me, not you. Uh, so you immediately get to draw two cards, and I'll figure out my hand situation here. One, two. So this is where I would feed, right? Uh, correct. At the uh, during the seasonal event phase, we will be feeding our babies. So okay, before the actions, after play. Okay. okay. So I want to have fruit or insects to feed, or is it just fruit? You said it was whatever the the parent Mother, used like as parent. Yeah. Yep. So like I'm good insects. already. Then I could use my three and one, and then feed my four chicks nice so yeah that'll so first yeah get the resources you need to play a card mm -hmm. and then once we've both played a card then we'll, we'll do the predator phase and then the fledge baby phase fledgling oh this is a flower of five no no give two draw four okay 
Okay, I'll just take two insects. Two insects is what I'm taking. Oh man, I'm having trouble today deciding what to get rid of. Uh oh. I love all my cards. <laughs> um, okay. Ugh, gotta decide on something. Let's do that then. Okay. So I'm discarding four cards. Four cards. And. Five unique animals. Five unique plants. What are yep. five unique plants? Have I even seen? Like this grass, tree, flower? So this means unique species of plants, right? So the sea lavender is a unique species compared to the blue grandma grass. Okay. And the oak tree, right? So as long sense? as, yeah, so right now I have one, one, one plant, one, plant mm -hmm. one unique plant. Yeah. Gotcha. As do I. We are going hard into animals yeah, in this game. Yeah, yeah. Which makes sense, given the achievement. Okay, so I've taken my resources. Beautiful. And then you get to play a card. I'm going to play the great plains toad sorry the, what's the icon for other is yes, it the so you can look at here oh at here it is card. sorry okay yeah other is the butterfly so i just want to make sure because the dragonfly is a butterfly right correct so yeah so i don't want to put my toad beside it on the same row Dude. there so i will but play the toad lavender. though okay oh nice if you have four yeah i don't have that though Yeah. yeah, you want to play an action that you can take. Yeah, I'll do that for yeah. two. Oh, that was one, two, which gives me four. One, two, three, four, which gives me a card. That's other. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. a lot of blues huh? maybe I'll, I'm just gonna maybe put this here no no no, no. just down here it's fine I just played a frog got three points and now I get a I pass the purple ones so I'm gonna play the juniper tree sorry you did so you can look at three things first the purple bonus? Oh, right here, minus one. Gotcha. Yep. Yes. I played a tree. Oh, wow. Juniper tree. I know. It's a great card. I think the your action for the cacao tree is the same. Action. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it. I haven't been collecting sun, but I feel like I need to trade some cards here. I did design the game with I want players to trade cards. Yeah, yeah. I I feel like I haven't been doing that. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I obviously have a lot of cards I probably won't use. Mm -hmm. You know, like there's two trees that are f like five points, right? Like that's a lot of resources. So. Right. <clears throat> okay. Maybe I'll put you there. I'll keep one of you. But do you want to play free? Get four. Tree and give two, give four, and four. 
Pro my problem is with, like, I don't know which ones are. Mm. Give one food and two cards to draw two and play one for free. I really like that. Actually. Yeah, well, that seems strong, you know, like. It's a strong one, and it's fun. You never hope. Maybe you'll get something. Yeah, amazing. yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, I will. And it's like I don't think I'd never want to get rid of a play. Maybe I'll just do no. Okay. <laughs> I'll get rid of uh, these two cards, I think. Okay. One, two. And I will take a sun for that. Okay. Cool. So now we are at the... So you played a card. Is that correct? You played the frog, right? Yeah. The, the toad? Yep. Yeah. Perfect. So now we are at the seasonal event. So predators activate. So I don't have any. You do. However, there are no babies in the jungle for you to hunt. Mm -hmm. So you just draw three cards. All right. Here we go. What? Three more cards. <laughs> more cards. More cards. But some plants this time, which is hard. Yeah, I do need a flower here for real. Uh, give two to get four. <sighs> ah, cool. Give two and draw four. Oh, but there's going to be one. Hmm. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I want to keep the grass. Another bird. I'm going to get rid of you. Oh, that seems pretty good for me. Oh, I think you glitch shot again all that sorry maybe one sec I, I think we lost uh leone for a quick sec again here i'll ask her about uh your question here get to drop one get two. one two three four five six seven eight nine and then maybe we'll just play this here we'll get uh these two Sun. Sorry, I'm not sure what's wrong with, with our connection. It seems every, like, I don't know, 15 minutes or so, it kind of just lightly glitches. But uh, I, I know she'll be back shortly, as it has... As, it, as it's happened a couple times here. So weird. I don't know why it does that. I'll look into it, though. All right, there we go. I see you're back. Okay. I don't know I, I don't know why it does. It seems every, like, 15 minutes or so, it just glitches out for, like, 30, 45 seconds. Okay. But uh, okay. I, I have uh, one last solo question. It says, uh, what do you do with a card that instructs you to give a card to another player, give them bonuses? Do you just ignore it? Correct. You, so if, if you need to give a resource to another player in the solo mode, you'll just discard that resource. All right. Um, don't ignore it, but, um, but you, you still have to get rid of a resource. Yeah, you're paying the bank instead of the player, essentially. Exactly. Gotcha. Okay, cool. All right, so I uh, I discarded down because I was uh, I was at eight here, so I discarded two to get another sun. So perfect. So now we are at the so we we're done with the predator phase. Now we're at the fledgling phase. So we get to feed our babies for more points. So it's one point per baby, or two points per baby you feed. Two points per baby that you feed. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, okay, I'll feed all four. Nice. I did a really bad job of managing the food for my babies. So I will, but I'll still do the, scrounge together. Do the babies yeah. go back in the supply? I just kind of move them off to the side. Yeah, so all the babies go leave the, the, the biome. All right, cool. Yeah. And then I get so, eight. Nice. I'm also feeding four, so I have to get eight. 49. I'm just one behind the free card. 
my favorite bonus. <laughs> the best bonus. <laughs> totally agree. Nice. Okay, cool. Now we go back to action. So you are up. Okay. Um. Do I have a circle here? I do. Of three points. Yeah. Okay. Give one insect and one card. So is that from me? Like I have to give it to you? No, right? Is that the toad here? Like it's got to be from me. So I, I have to give one insect, one card from me to you. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, no. So you can see then with a lot of players, there's more resources going around. Yeah, for sure. Um, I think I miscalculated what I wanted to do there. Do I just do this one for now? Four fish, one per. Um, I think I'm just gonna do the gray fox because, yeah, so I have four, so I get four fish, four cards. Awesome. That's pretty good. Four fish. Four cards. I will... I'm going to spice things up, Mike. Uh-oh. I'm going to spice things up. Okay, I'm going to activate my tree... My red-eyed tree frog. <laughs> oh, nice. And... I saw that action. I was like, oh... Yep. Does it replace or it just adds it, it in? Adds. Okay, it cool. Adds it in. So we've got our little achievement so over here. I'm gonna draw three. Let's see what we get here. Ooh, maybe the arborist. Interesting. Get some trees in the game. I think. Ooh. The diverse habitat isn't bad either. Since you're my guest of honor, do you have a preference? Uh, I, mean, I, I feel like I'm, I'm on the way to each of the diverse one is probably the toughest one. This is a hard one. Yeah, that, that one for sure seems like the most difficult one to achieve. I only have yeah. one, one tree. <laughs> no right. flowers so it makes uh yeah it makes no difference to me okay i'm yeah i'm trying to think maybe i'll do the the arborist get some trees out there yeah. i think that's probably the most approachable one um but you are on your way for the jungle because you've got a reptile tree bird mammal so like you're not too far off from a filled anyway. yeah yeah, I'll just do the, the arborist for now. And that's my action. Okay, we are done with year one. Cool. And now we go back to fall and reduce to eight cards and then draw two. I need to discard here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> I need to discard. I, this doesn't happen that often that you're like constantly discarding. So. Yes, it's, it's definitely a card-rich game. Like, I have some strong ones, but I feel like I have too many strong cards, and that's... Mm -hmm. I need the grass, though. I want the grass. And I need a flower. Okay, I'm going to drop four cards to get two resources, which will be some one sun and one leaf, please. 
So, Mike, something else you might notice on the center board here. Mm -hmm. So I have a little catch-up mechanic. Um, and I have a feeling we're going to be, we'll each be able to benefit from this. The starting in year two, mm. the player in last place gets an extra card or resource. Cool, cool. And so I'll take a, I'll gladly take advantage of that. Yeah, for sure. So I take two cards now. <laughs> I just yep. got, I just got rid of my cards. <laughs> Two you cards know. and then two resources. Okay, so I want, I definitely want to put you, I'm going to put you there. I will take uh, two fruit. Two fruit is what I will do. I will take two. Awesome. Now we get to each play a card. I'm just gonna play the. I'm gonna play the blue, gra grandma grass, blue grandma grass, oh, nice. for one sun. Love it. I'm uh, gonna play my brown bear. Oh. The big boy. Seven, yeah, seven. Yeah. Draw five, get one. Excuse me. <laughs> mhm. Mm mhm. Okay, I'm on my way here. Okay, no season, and now would be an action. So I better start thinking of what my action is going to be here. Do I need more? No, I don't. Pass the purple bonus again. Play one for one fewer, which it looks like you're going to do as well. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I didn't take my points. Two points. One, two. Ah, oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. That's exactly what I think. <laughs> well, I'm glad. Okay, let me play minus one. Hmm. Give it. Okay, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play the grizzled tree kangaroo here. Mm -hmm. Two fruit. And one fish, which could not have come at a better time. So I get seven for that, mm -hmm. which what, uh, 58, which gives me another card. Oops, one second. Okay, cool. Now I can do my action, which I will do the tree kangaroo. I'm doing Perfect. it. I'm doing it. So I'm gonna give you one yeah. food. Uh, okay, I'll give you a. I think actually, oh. I'm unfortunately starting. Yeah, player that's fair. This round, uh -oh. which I was hoping not to be, but that's okay. I thought you were gonna be like, well, now that I know what you're doing, I'm just gonna block. <laughs> exactly. There's no tree for your kangaroo, so I'm sorry. Nope. <laughs> No. Okay, I will activate my bald eagle and get a bunch of fish. Wow. So I get a fish per animal in my marsh and prairie. Nice. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, five fish. Your turn. Uh, I'm still gonna do the tree kangaroo. Yeah. I'll give you. Uh, I'll give you a fish because <clears throat> obviously you won't need it. Right. And then I will give you two cards. Uh, give one and one to play. Oh, I'll give you these two cards here. One food, two cards. 
And then I get to draw two and play one for free. Ooh. A three and a two. <laughs> okay, if you have draw eight from the deck, pick three to keep. Ugh. The mountain plover you could play next to the blue grim of grass, and it could make get a mess. Yeah, spring. cool. And it'll yeah. have four babies. No, that's just one. Yeah, I think that's probably the better move. Discard you. Okay, cool. I was really hoping cool. for like a big juicy card, you know, but mm -hmm. that's the you. risk. It's the risk. Cool. Okay, we're done with fall, so now we go to winter. And we're reduced to eight. We're both in the clear. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And draw two cards. One, two. Is there like the, let's say the alligator snapping turtle. Is there more than one of that turtle in the deck? Correct. So there are, I want to say, a hundred 20 unique plants and animals okay and the deck and i saw was duplicates. the exactly. deck was like 180 i think 180 180 so there's okay. some do there's some duplicates for sure okay cool yeah mm -hmm. okay draw cards i need two resources So I'm in last place, so I get an extra resource, and I just discarded two cards to get an extra resource. Like, I had something that... Oh, it's this. Never mind. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, where am I looking for here? Okay, I'm going to take two yeah. sun. I'm taking two sun for my resources. I've taken my cards, and now we can play. I am playing the sea lavender okay. for three sun. One, two, three. And I'm playing... Piggy rabbit, which you kindly gave yeah, me. Yeah, nice. And I get a point. Oh, yeah. yeah, so there's some rabbit babies this year. Five Ooh. points. What am I having? Oh, and I get an achievement. Uh oh. I get second place for the mammalogist. I have okay. four mammals. Three, four, five. So six points. Do I not have enough birds? No, I have like two birds. One, two, no birds in here. Okay. Like five unique plants and five unique animals. That seems still kind of tough to do there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Can't make them too easy, you know? No, for sure, obviously. Definitely. Gotta fight for them. Sorry, okay. you got the mammals there? I got second place. Okay, cool. Good call. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so we just played a card. There's no seasonal event. And now you get to kick us off for action. Okay, I filled up a row on my player mat with six out of seven types here. All right. This one is, uh, is other. That. Okay. It's other animal, yep. So I get eight. That's what I'm doing here. Beautifully executed proud of you Mike love to see that uh, sorry 8 I'm at 63 so 71 71 and I get a card okay for my action 
I will activate the juniper tree here. Mm. So I'm going to give you two cards and a sunlight. So here's the card. And... Um, which other card do I want to give? Or these two cards, I'll just put them into your hand. And sunlight, and then I get to play a plant in my biome for free. So I'll play this mangrove tree. Yeah, those are strong ones for sure. Get to yeah. per. Oh, cool. Cool. And then I get three more points. Uh, okay, I got cards to get rid of here. Take uh, four here. I want to build next. Oh, I could do that. I'll take uh, two fruit. Two fruit. Yes. Okay, cool. Now we're in the next season. You already reduced to eight, and then we draw two more cards. Wow. Some of these are like, yeah. Like Monarch Butterfly, like one fruit to do the give two food, one card action. Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm a sucker for that. <laughs> I, I'm a sucker for those two. Those are my favorite actions. They're a lot of fun. Ooh, you're well on your way to filling up your... Actually, we both are... Both only have four more spaces to fill. Uh, five for me, because I have two play any time. Oh, you're right. You do have five. Okay. Got it. Oh, I have five, too. That's what I mean. But I also have the play any time. Okay. So okay. I could play the... Uh, I can play the Mountain Bluebird on my play my changing conditions here, right? You can, yeah. Okay. But okay, I'm gonna take. Uh, I'll take two insects. Two and six. Then we play. Yes, I'm gonna quickly discard two cards to draw a card. I would just love a plant. I did get a plant. Okay. And then I'll collect my three resources. Oh yeah, because you're in last. I am in last. Well, I don't, you're, I don't mean it like that, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting for you to have this gigantic combo there. Let's 100 points. I'm like, oh. <laughs> the most points I've seen someone get is 40 from okay. Baby. Okay, wow. That was like insane. That was crazy. Has there been moments where you're like, oh, I, I got to change a little bit here? You're like, I'm sure during playtesting there, you're like, oh, that's a little too strong. Like, Oh, that used to happen a lot. Yeah. It hasn't happened recently. Um, but, yeah, I, the game is pretty much balanced and mm -hmm. finalized now. But 
Oh yeah, so many times I, I was constantly rebalancing. Cool, okay, I played my Osprey, get three points, draw a card. Oh yeah, I'll get one there too, huh? Yeah, I've played my card, I've paid for it. And then we will have our seasonal event. Is that the seasonal Yes! <laughs> Exactly, baby time. I'm gonna have a lot more babies this season. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, a lot. I will not. What is it for? Oh, the bunnies too, huh? Like. The bunnies have come out to play. Yeah, yeah. Seven and six. Oh my god. That's yeah. crazy. But you need to feed all of those, though. Yeah. That's going to be the fun part. Well, yeah. it's You know, you got a lot, but I I still feel like it's it's not as it's not super easy to just, you know, get a bunch of resources, yeah. right? Like, it's, it's not. Unless you've been hoarding them, but that means that you're not, you're not doing something else, so. Correct. There's no way I can feed all these babies. <laughs> no way. But I'll, I'll do my best. Yeah, yeah. Answer. And I gotta check oh. out. What do I wanna do here? So we have the babies, and then we get to the action phase. So I think. Oh, this is very tricky. I will. Um. I'm gonna get four leaves and draw a card. Mm. You also get a leaf. Okay. Activating my little pygmy rabbit. Uh, this guy, this one's insects. I know. Um. Hmm. Okay. I. I think I'm gonna do the sea lavender. I have four sun in my personal supply, so I'm going to reveal four cards. Mm -hmm. And yes, and yes. There's That's pretty two good. Plants, so I get the I get five points, and I keep the two plants. Beautiful. Nice. Oops. Have you gotten the achievement yet? Or are you still trying to play one more plant? For the which one? Oh yeah. So the ecologist. Five I'm also plants, struggling. Yeah. yeah, I'm not getting it enough. Enough plants. Mm -hmm. uh, what is it? One, mm -hmm. two, three, four, five. One sun. Keep two. How many? I only have like three. One, two, three, right? Mm hmm. Okay. Yep. But I if I was to four. put. Like the prairie rose, that would put me as four, correct? Because it's unique. That's right. Okay. That's right. Yeah. Okay. And I put my cube. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Now we go to summer. What do I want to do here? I need. And reduce to eight and then draw two cards. Filled up a row. Uh, sorry, I'm just looking. I gotta discard two cards. I always have a hard time. I always have a hard time. I'm gonna discard you and you. Yeah, I'd say like the first couple games. Well, yeah, obviously, once you get to know the cards a little better, it helps. For sure. Yeah, the first game can be a lot. So I'm going to take a rat for the two cards that I discarded. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I will drop two. One. Feed. 
are my three resources. I'll take three of them. So. Uh, I need a rat. And. that up. No. Oh no. Well, I'm like, I wanted to do the other one, but I'm like, oh, maybe I'll do this one. It's fine. <clears throat> uh, yeah. We'll take the fruit. And we'll just have to go with the flow here. Might trade some resources after. Okay. Took my two resources. Now we play a card. Cool. I'm going to play the Philippine Eagle for two rats. I'm going to play the orange-headed rush for two fruit and three points. And then this gives me my fourth bird. And I have Eight. one in each habitat. So I get another six points. Well done. One, two, three, four, five, six, which gives me a card. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> cool. Okay, we played a card, and now we're at the seasonal event. So neither so you have a predator, and I don't have I still don't have any jungle babies. So you draw three cards for your <sighs> anaconda. Three cards. Oh my god. One. I know. It's pretty rare actually two. that no one plays predators that can where there's no hunting, so this is a very peaceful game. Yeah. Well, I'm going to get and rid of my a... jungle cards first, because I cannot build there anymore. Unless okay. I somehow get a play anytime, but I'm not going to bank on that. Four, six, yeah, that's eight. probably smart. And... <clears throat> so yeah, you can exchange those cards to get the foods. Yep, season. yep, yep. That's exactly what's going to happen Look at you. here. You're already in biome. Oh, uh, yeah. What? Which one am I giving up, though? Reveal seven. Uh, okay. So that's six cards. <clears throat> I will start feeding all the babies. Which gives me three resources of... Insects, I guess. One, two, three. And insects. So I can only feed four, four chicks. So I'm feeding five rabbits, five leaves that I have, ten points. And they all come off, right? That's right. Like even the ones you weren't able to feed, they just come off anyways? All come off, that's right. Yep, yeah, okay. I'll feed two of my owl babies. Sure. Another four points. And then I'll be feeding four of the babies that eat fish. So. Cool. So I get another eight points there. Okay. Oh, there it is. Narrowing the gap. And the question is, should I feed one more? Yeah, I'll... Actually, sure. I'll feed one more. I'll exchange two fish for a baby. For, to feed one more baby. Okay, sure. Okay. One behind you. Yeah. Woo! Nice. Okay, now we get to the action phase. So you get to kick us off for the action. Uh, give one and one to play a circle. Two, three. 
Okay, I will play the toad. I'm gonna give you an insect, so I'm gonna trade two suns for an insect. And I will give you a card. Are you filled up anywhere? No, you're blue. Hmm. Okay, I'll give you this blue bunny here. Okay, and then <clears throat> I can play one marsh card up to three points for free, mm -hmm. which will be this red winged blackbird. Nice. That's a fun action. Mm -hmm. And you get two points. Yes. And I will be giving you a victory point to activate my mangrove tree and I get to play a marsh card up to four points for free so I'm going to play the fifth plant I need for oh, the ecologist Nice. so then I get three points for the swamp rose and ten points for the ecologist there we go <laughs> yay Okay, cool. That is um, year number two. Cool, cool. As you can see, we are very mm -hmm. rapidly approaching the oh, end yeah. here. Of course, so you sneak is, in right at the end there. <laughs> I would never. I would never. <laughs> All right, so cool. okay, I don't I'm have to. Take my two nice. cards here. Perfect. What does that put me at, though? At one. One, two, three. Is that what I'm going to try to do? Okay. Is there gonna be, maybe not. Like, I don't think we're gonna be feeding again at this point, huh? Even if we get to the spring, chances are. We will not be having another baby season. Uh, yeah, sure. does the game end immediately as, as, as soon as someone passes the finish line or is it there's another turn? Good question. Everyone will just finish the final action. Okay. And then that's it. So we're also close to filling up the biome. Like mm -hmm. you only have yeah, two yeah, slots. Yeah. Well, that's what I mean. There's and only going to be two more rounds. There's going to be two more Max, rounds. Max, you know. Max. Okay. Max. Okay, cool. So I'm going to... Um, so you actually get the bonus resource or card now. I'm going to take a sun as one. And then... Uh... Two more sons. I am playing the red jungle fowl for two leaves and a fruit. So I get one point. I'm going to play the uh, salt marsh bull rush. Mm -hmm. For two. And that gives me three points. One, two, three. Okay. Nice. Okay. If I were you, mm -hmm. I would have probably played the monarch butterfly and risked it. To try um, to get a like. To try to fill up, right? Because that achievement gives you 10 points. Which one, sorry? Uh, the yeah, naturalist. the fill up. Oh, because it would have automatically closed it. Do you want to do that? I'm totally fine if you want to try for it. Because I was trying to get 
an extra six points here plus oh well, yeah i guess it's whoever fills it up first because my next move was going to be trying to get this other grass you up know here. what it that i think both are good options let's see how it plays out because next season we'll both tie for the naturalist we'd both get 10 points okay yeah. Otherwise, I'd get 10, you'd get 6. So it's all like, yeah, my plan is to try to get both done, unless you somehow, you have a, one of those actions. I don't. All right, I don't. I, all right, all right, all right. I think we're good, then. Right. I think we're good. Okay, nice. <laughs> all right. Cool. Let's, um, let's take our actions. So I start, I'm going to activate my... Orange headed thresh, I get a victory point per animal in my jungle and marsh. And I have oh, nine animals, so I get dang. nine points. That's that's a good one. Cannot complain. Not at all. Well, I'm gonna hope the red winged blackbird does me a solid here. Nice. So reveal three. A uh, seven. Reveal seven. If Reveal any seven. are, yeah, there better be a bird in here. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> All right. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, nice. six, seven. Okay, one. You got your bird. Yeah. So I get seven. You get seven points. What am I at here? Eighty. Ninety. Sorry. Ninety-eight. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I get one sun and a card. And then I get to. That's it. Oh, this is going to be a close game. This is awesome. Okay. That. Well done. Was that? That was that. Okay. So we are in the final season. Mm -hmm. So reduced to eight which we don't have to do, draw two cards, and then we will, you can collect three resources. Well, resources aren't worth anything at the end of the game? Correct. Okay. Uh, okay, well, I'm just going to take, I don't know. It doesn't really matter at this point there. What am I doing? really have a good last action here. Hooray. Oh, maybe I do. Okay. I will take, uh, it doesn't matter. I'm going to take one sun and two I'm gonna discard rats. two cards to draw a card to see if I get anything better. I found my action. <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> oh god, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. <laughs> What's gonna come my way? Oh. Oh, here we go. Here we go. You're like, I found the card. I was like, uh oh. That's pretty cool. Okay. I drew this, which lets me play a jungle card. Oh, the play anytime. Nice. Mm -hmm. Although, it's gonna come down to a coin flip. Oh no. <sighs> so it's going to be a dramatic end game. Yep, I love it. That's going to be great. All right, well, I'm okay, going to pay. Play this for two sun then, and that gives me four. So you get four plus six plus ten, right? That's pretty amazing. Yeah, here, yeah. So I get the. For the unique plants, I get six. Five unique plants and five unique animals. Nice. Two, three, four, and five, six. And we both six. tie for the naturalist. Doesn't okay. happen often. Pretty cool. So that's ten? Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I just kind of looped back. Yeah. Okay. And did, so you got, have you given yourself all 20 points? 
Yeah, I gave myself the four, the six, and the ten. Yep. Perfect. Okay, well. Action! Mm. So you get a start. All right, so I'm going to do the stoat. Nice. One, two, three, four, five. Five cards for eight points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So a seven. does it re like do you re get the bonuses? No. Okay. You don't get re get the bonuses. Yep. Yeah. Good question. You're actually saving me here because silly uh -oh. me. I um, want to activate the bromeliads, and I didn't. Ah, uh, I, I should have <laughs> given you two rats. Oh, I guess it wouldn't have mattered. It wouldn't have mattered too much. Um, so I'm gonna exchange. Yeah. A bunch of cards for sunlight. So now I have the four sunlight. Cool. And now I get a full There we coin. go. <laughs> the moment of truth. A moment of truth. Okay, we're saying heads is one, tails is two. Mm-hmm. Oh, gets the seven with the heads. <laughs> with the heads. Oh, my God. I buy one point. That's crazy. You buy one point. Nice. Wow. You did so well, Mike. Nice. Good that, job. That, that was great. You feel satisfied? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Obviously, there's a couple things I could have done differently, um, but yeah, that's all. that comes with playing it for the first time, right? But no, um, totally. No, definitely feel satisfied with that one. Um, that yeah, that was really great. Cool. And like if these... I had gotten, oh, go yeah, ahead. go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say, if I didn't want to play it risky, I would have done the red jungle foul okay. to get five points. And then I would have been behind you by one. Mm -hmm. So just just to put things into the respective. Oh, for sure. It it, it came yeah. down to the flip of a coin. That's and that's, you know, it, that's cool though. You know, it's just a bit of luck, right? And like you basically risked it all on your last turn, and it paid off, right? So, totally. uh, no, that's yeah. It's it's not, it's not a mechanic that that you that that we're often going to be using in a game, but it is cool to be like okay. hmm. You know, do I, do I, you know, is that a trade-off that I want right now? And, and yeah, it paid yeah. off. That's cool. It paid off. Yeah. <laughs> cool. And I feel the same. Like, I also was, like, thinking I could have still played more cards with actions where I get more points end game, mm -hmm. which I didn't do. So, yeah. You can always optimize. Yeah, for sure. There's always next yeah. time, right? exactly cool awesome well that was exciting uh yeah that was very okay. fun so one one more time everyone in the stream right now uh biome is still live right now on kickstarter uh the campaign ends next thursday the 21st of march at 8 a.m pacific time so if you enjoyed what you see feel free to go and back the game um yeah, yeah leone what's I... oh go ahead no, I go just ahead. want to show you, yeah, like the online sphere experience, right? Is doesn't quite compare to no, the for real sure, life thing. obviously, for sure. And I just want to show you these little nests and chicks, nice so, that actually come in the game. Okay, sick, nice, yeah. yeah. So I I love the wooden components. I think the tactile aspect of board games is really important. No, so it's no, fun sure. to like have all your bits and pieces and. Well, that's, yeah, that's the whole feeling, and no, I, I agree, I like, a, I'm a big sucker for nice components, you know, so, I, I'm on board. Amazing. What a, I had so much fun. Yeah, that, that so was great, fun. thanks, thanks for coming by, um, thanks for everyone in the chat, the questions, that was great, I, I really enjoyed it, and, um, yeah, I just want to thank you, and then I, obviously the campaign is going great, which is fantastic, but I, I Obviously, wish you the best in, in any future campaigns you have as well. Thank you so much, Mike. Really appreciate it. Thanks for coming Thank by. Everyone. Have a great day. You too. Thank you. Bye. Bye. All right, stream. Thank you, everyone, for coming by. I hope you enjoyed it. 
And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time, which is tomorrow. Tomorrow stream with Max.